Are you RH negative? Has your doctor told you that you need a shot of Rogam? What does that all mean? I'm going to talk to you about all that today coming up. Hey everyone, Dr. Wes Davis. I make weekly YouTube videos providing you with the best evidence-based information to help you have the best possible outcome for you and your baby. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. One of the most common questions I get during prenatal visits, what's this whole deal with my blood type? So you can be O positive, O negative, A, B, A, B, positive, negative, whatever. But what we're talking about today is someone who has one of these blood groups that ends in negative. So you're RH negative. So we're going to talk today about this, uh, the significance of the blood type. Why does it matter? I'm going to talk to you about what this RH factor really is. I'm going to give you some times when it's important to think about that and know what to do when these situations arise. I'm going to explain a little bit to you about how Rogam works and what does it actually do. And then we'll also talk about some things that could happen if you don't get Rogam in times when you should. So first off, what actually is a blood type and why does it matter? So blood types are composed of two parts. There's the letter part, the ABO, and then there's the RH factor, which is either positive or negative. And we're really mostly talking about the RH factor today, but just briefly the ABO system. And it's basically talking about a type of polysaccharide, which is basically a sugar uh, that is embedded into the surface of red blood cells. And that's not really a big focus during prenatal care. It can be an issue after birth. So we're not really gonna focus on that today. We're gonna to talk more about the RH factor. So the RH factor is a protein that's expressed on the surface of red blood cells. And if you think of it like red blood cells kind of look like a donut and if you have this protein on the surface of your donut or your red blood cell, it kind of looks like sprinkles. Sprinkle donut, you're RH positive. If you don't have, if you have a plain donut, you're RH negative. Now the thing is that these proteins, these sprinkles on the donuts, they can actually elicit an immune response from someone when they are exposed. So say you have a mom whose blood type is RH negative. So they, they have red blood cells that don't have those proteins present on their blood cells, but their baby is RH positive. Now there can be some mixing from the fetal side of cer the circulation of the placenta to the maternal side. And therefore the mom can be exposed to these red blood cells. And basically your immune system recognizes that as, as a foreign invader, as an infection and you need to develop an immune response against that, so you develop antibodies. Some of the typical times that you may have a potential for an immune response, bleeding in pregnancy, childbirth, any type of invasive procedure, so amniocentesis, uh, external cephalic version where you're trying to turn the baby, any type of significant abdominal trauma, so like a bad car accident or even a bad fall, any of these times are potentials where there could be slight disruptions in the placenta and allow for mixing of the blood across the placenta and exposing the mom to the baby's red blood cells, and that offers the opportunity to develop an immune response. So in those situations, we give mom something called rogue. Rogam. Rogam is what we call anti-D immune globulins. It's made from pooled plasma from male donors who've been exposed to RH positive blood. And that is what we give as an injection to pregnant moms to help protect them from developing an immune response. It's not really understood why it works, but the bottom line is that it is very effective and has reduced the risk of a mom developing an immune response that's called alloimmunization to the baby's blood to well less than 1%. It's been proven to be safe, been using it for decades now, and there's really no significant risk. It's been like ultra filtrated, clean for viruses, basically anything you'd worry about, pretty much not a major concern. So again, the times that we recommend that are anytime there's bleeding during pregnancy, and then also at 28 weeks just routinely, and then after delivery, if the baby turns out to be RH positive, then another dose is given at that time. So what happens if you don't get Rogam in one of these situations when you should have? So if you were RH negative and you had some bleeding and you didn't get the Rogam, there is a potential risk that your immune system will recognize those red blood cells from the baby and develop an immune response. Now, it doesn't typically affect the current pregnancy. It's much more likely to happen in a subsequent pregnancy. Now these antibodies are circulating and, and basically the maternal immune system sort of strikes out at this like, like it's an infection. And that can lead to fetal anemia. And also it's important to note that it still can happen even after an appropriate dose of Rogam is given. So hopefully that gives you some good insight into what the heck are we talking about when we say you're RH negative and why does it matter and what is this Rogam and why am I getting this? If you have questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. And thanks for watching and have a great day.